zwei Karabiner und es ist immer mindestens ein Karabiner eingehängt. If you're climbing a Via Ferrata, a protected climbing route, you should be well secured and have a head for heights. Mountain guide Sepp Bernegger shows how it's done. Hi, I'm Sepp. My home is in the Berchtesgadener Land. I'm a Via Ferrata guide, and I'm going to show you my favorite places and why it's worth coming to visit the region around Berchtesgaden. Starting at the base station in Schönau on Königsee Lake, the Jennerbahn takes you 1,185 meters up into the middle of the Berchtesgaden Alps. Now we've arrived at the Midway station and we'll take a little hike to my first recommendation, Brandkopf Lookout Point. It's a family-friendly hike. Let's go! From the Midway Station, a well-maintained trail leads up Brandkopf Mountain. Usually there are only a few hikers here, and the mountain guide enjoys its serenity. After 25 minutes, Sepp has reached his destination. So, now we're on the Brandkopf, one of my favorite lookout points. Just look at that panorama. What more can I say? We're a little unlucky with the weather today. The mountains are in the clouds. But unfortunately, we have no influence over that. There's a hearty lunch at the Vorderbrand restaurant and a friendly greeting. We go on to Almbach Gorge, Sepp's second recommendation. The three kilometer long ravine with its waterfalls is one of the most beautiful in the Bavarian Alps. 29 bridges take you through it, always along the Almbach River. If you want to go all the way through the gorge, plan a good three hours. So we're in the middle of Albach Gorge. It's magnificent and always fascinating to see how the water has shaped the rocks over the centuries. His last recommendation is in Berchtesgaden, the healing salt caves in the salt mine. You take a train 800 meters into the mine, a huge salt deposit. The high humidity and low temperatures of about 12 degrees Celsius have a soothing and therapeutic effect on the lungs and air passages. Many visitors, including Sepp, find it relaxing. On some days, there's the sound of Tibetan singing bowls. After a day as full as this one was, the healing caves are just the right way to get somebody like me to calm down and relax. And it's here in the salt caves that Sepp Bernegger collects his strength for leading his hiking and climbing tours.